Hey you guys, welcome back to day 16 and today we're going to be talking about um, being alone, not, hmm, how can I put this? Being alone doesn't mean necessarily being alone. Right now I'm alone, but I have Malia here. You could be alone mentally, not letting somebody distract you. Um, we're going to start off with a Bible verse. Today's verse, repent then and turn to God so that your sins may be wiped out. That time of refreshing may come from the Lord. I've always been alone. I don't know if that was some way of God way of preparing me for now but um I've always been alone I've been like a, a lone wolf never impacts a people if I had a friend it was like one friend that I talked to or something like that but I never just put myself in a group, big group of people. I don't know. It made me feel some type of way. But sometimes being alone can get boring. But then sometimes you're able to think better. Um, I, like, I've been alone since, I want to say on and off since 2016, I think I, I had someone there to help me through transitions but other than that I was alone um I can say when too many people get around I get distracted I lose I don't know what it is but I lose sight of what it is I need to do and or even actually doing it. I don't know why. I don't know if it, I feel like I'm going to miss out on something. But I just completely stopped doing whatever it is I was doing. So I believe that's why God got me in this season of being alone. So that I can focus on what it is I need to do, which is this fashion thing. I really need to dig deep and get really into it. Know my history and learn terminology. They say you're a fashion designer, you should know this though. Yeah, true, but it's plenty, it's people out here that just like doing stuff without even, you know, just going, you know, like learning about other people. Yes, it could help you, but... To me, 
I feel like it's a waste of time to sit here and be studying somebody else where well, I could be taking that time to perfect my craft. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe that's stupid. I don't know. But I'm here and I'm alone. Every time I try to bring somebody in, it be okay for a little bit. Probably like three months, it be okay. And then after that, it go downhill. <laughs> and I'll be like, what happened? What changed from yesterday to today? That just all of a sudden, just everything's different. So, I don't know. I always wanted somebody to walk this journey with me. But, I'm starting to feel like it's just going to be me for a good little minute. I don't know how long, but it just feel like it's just going to be me for a good little minute. A couple of years at least. Maybe like three years. But I can't say by me being alone... I can I can hear God more clearer. Um, I'm able to see the plan, so I can try to ex execute it better. It's just it would be cool, you know. It's just, I don't know what it is. It's like, I'm like that ride or die type of chick. I'm always there to ride passenger with somebody else. And then when it's my turn to drive, they just hop out. <laughs> and I'll be like, dang, I'm actually a good driver. Why y'all hopping out? Like I'm going to kill y'all or something. I don't know. But they hop out. So, I've been getting used to riding along. I think being alone could be a good and a bad thing. It's good because it helps you focus and dig deep into whatever you may be if it's like a dream that you have or a passion whatever it is it helps you get into that better but I think when you be alone too long then you just get so used to it just being you that everything else irritates you like if anybody else comes around and they don't do stuff exactly the way you do it it irritates you even though it might not even be nothing serious <laughs> it just irritates you because it's not what you used to and I want to focus on the fashion thing, but I'm scared of getting wrapped up in it too much that I get comfortable with being alone. And when good people come around, I push them away because I'm, I'm used to being alone and I'm not used to having nobody around to do stuff with me and it makes me feel uncomfortable and irritates me even though somebody else might be like you're tripping like <laughs> that is not to, nothing to be irritated about but that is legit feelings that some people you know have from being alone too much I 
don't know what my child in there doing. It sounds like she tearing stuff up. Tell me she's scared. Ooh, I'll tell you. These kids. If he comes along, he is to go free alone. But if he has a wife when he comes, she is to go with him. Mm. <laughs> but how do you know when you found the right one to no longer be alone? I guess that's a, we go go deeper into that another day, another topic. I know y'all like, She just, <laughs> I know I, rump, I ramble a lot, but like I said, I'm not a great speaker. I'm not even used to like really expressing my feelings and stuff like that. And so this is a new task for me. It can get challenging sometimes, especially depending on the topic, trying to force myself to talk about it for like 30 minutes. I know, 30 minutes, I mean, it could be long or it could be short. It depends on the person. But me, for sometimes it feels long. But I'm gonna read this other verse. It says, very early in the morning while it was still dark, Jesus got up and left the house and went off to a solitary place where he prayed. Even when Jesus was tempted, he was alone. I think the only way to overcome temptation it's to be alone sometime. That's that's a way to strengthen your mind without the extra in your ear. Because like I said before, what you might feel is right, somebody else might feel is wrong. And what they might feel is right, you might feel is wrong. Whatever. So being alone helps you decide for yourself without any extra feedback on what's right and what's wrong for you so that you can keep moving forward. Being alone, I think it can make or break you. Some people can't handle being alone. It drives them crazy. Some people, it makes them stronger. Helps them t to be able to like regroup before they can go back in the world again. like a healing process. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm being alone with God so I can heal. I don't want to hurt anymore. I want to be happy. I want to
want to be at peace. I want to be healthy. And I want to be here to raise my daughter and watch her grow up and be an adult. Am I being a good mother? She said I am. People tell me I'm a good mother. But who actually knows if you're a good mother or not? I think it's no way of knowing if you're doing a good job with the kid until you get the end results. <laughs> and then, by then, for some, it might be too late. Everybody has the ability to change, to make their situation better, but you gotta want it. It can be hard talking to people sometimes, especially when folks ask you your opinion then when you give it to them, they like try to chop you down like, like dang. Then you just asked me my opinion, I gave it to you, now you want to be mad at me and talking to me sideways and stuff like that. Like, if you don't really want to hear my opinion, don't ask me nothing. Because I'm going to tell you my truth. I'm sorry you guys I woke up at like 4 and then I went and worked out for like 30 minutes and where they did surgery at to fix my pelvis started hurting so bad so I had to it took me like 3 hours to recover for it to stop hurting I just ooh, it was hurting so bad <laughs> But, being alone has changed me, even though I've kind of been alone all my life, it's changed me as I get older. I can say I still get that awkwardness around people. It's like <laughs> people talk to me and I talk back and they either act like they can't hear me. I don't know, maybe I talk too low. So they either act like they can't hear me or it just, I feel like maybe I say the wrong thing and it gets weird. Maybe it just be in my head and I be overthinking it. And then sometimes people say stuff to me and I don't have a response, so I just giggle. <laughs> so, I don't know. My interaction with people is weird because I'm always alone. I think right now the only person that understands me is Malia. <laughs> A five-year-old, you guys. I think she's like the only one that understands me. <laughs> I hope I'm not messing her up. <laughs> Cause she becoming a loner like me a little bit. I took her to the park the other day. And... It's, it's not just this occasion, but for some reason, every time I take her to the park, no matter how many kids is there, they never want to play with her. I just don't understand. And I just be like, why don't nobody ever want to play with my kid? Like, she be nice. She go up to them and ask them, can she play with them? They say no. Like, just rude. <laughs> she just be like, okay, and she walk away. 
Then she started playing by herself. Then when she get tired of playing by herself, she asked me to come and play with her. Usually I would play with her, but since the accident, I can't really be doing all of that. It makes me sad. I'm like, what is it about my kid that the other kids don't want to be around her? Is she bossy? I don't know. I used to feel like that too. Why people don't want to be around me. I don't know if it was me or them. Was it people wanting to be around me and I was just weird. <laughs> And in my head, I was thinking people don't want to be around me. But I could always tell when somebody didn't really like me. When people was pretending. I could always tell. So maybe that's why I was, I just stuck to myself. I don't want no fake friends. I don't want no fake love. I don't want no fake nothing. I just want to be around genuine people. That's going to tell me when I'm messing up and how to approve. And they won't get mad when I tell them how they messing up and how to improve. But it's like people can dish out, but they can't take it back. I've always run into people like that who felt like they could just talk to me any kind of way and treat me any kind of way. And then, because me, I'm not going to say nothing at first. I'm just going to let it build up, build up, build up. And then I kind of like explode. Yeah, I'm one of those. I know it's not good, but I guess it comes from when I was younger. I just used to hold all my feelings in. So now I just hold it in until I can't hold it no more and then I explode. So... I need to work on that also. That's part of my communication that I'm working on. <laughs> and that's why I need this this time. I know I'm not perfect. And, but I am a good person. So I'm taking this time to be alone, to work on myself. To be the best that I can be. So that way. When a good man come around. I'll be prepared. To accept him in my life. No this life is not just about. Finding someone. We all have a much higher purpose, but it is nice to have somebody walk with you, especially when times get dark. They might be able to shine a light that at the time you, un you are unable to light. My daughter is always asking me for a daddy. And that be tearing me up inside. I be like, girl, it's just not that easy. She don't understand what it means and what it takes to actually invite somebody into your life. And 
to hope and pray that in their mind they have the best interest for all of y'all and that they're not going to lead you down a dark road that you might not be able to recover from. I recovered a lot, but I don't want to keep going down. I know it would happen to happen again. It might not be like as far as being homeless again or something like that. It might be another version of dark roads. Who knows? It might be something mentally or who knows? Whatever it is. But Who knows if I'll be able to recover. You can only be strong for so long. And that's why I'm okay with being alone for right now. I don't want to... I don't want to go down anymore. And I really, and I'm still trying to learn what a real man is and how to know who I should allow to lead my family. Because I need a strong man to lead my family. I can't have no weak man. I can't have no man that I can't rely on, that I can't trust his word. I can't have that. How will we be able to build if I can't trust you, your word, and can't lean on you? I can't rely on you. We won't build nothing. You'll just be wasting my time and energy and prolonging what it is that God has intended for me. I don't need that. I could just stay being alone and go ahead and get to where I'm at where I need to be and then find somebody I'm thinking that's my beehives go work out the only thing about that is once you get to the level you want to be with be at it's like how do you know who's really for you I guess that's another thing to learn while you're alone. To be able to spot who's really for you, like who really supports you and who don't. Who really care for you, who don't. Who wants you to be the best you without any jealousy, any envy without the ego, all that. They just want you to be great because you deserve to be great. I feel like I deserve to be great. I've worked hard all my life. I deserve to get to the next level. I don't no longer want to be stuck at this level. And if being alone means I will get to the next level, then that means I'm going to get to the next level.
are you strong enough to take this time to be alone to focus on you and improve you how bad do you want it I want this bad real bad Alright, so I'm about to put this jacket together that I'm going to make for Malia. So, more videos coming. I demonstrated my infatuation and you fell in love with the conversation. We make one hell of a combination. It's more than lust, it's a real sensation. Even through the missing all the complications, I want only you, no contemplation. How we met, it was orchestrated. I gripped your body when I penetrated. I don't know what it is or how to translate it, but it's mandated that I translate it. Our time together, it's invigorating. I won't lie, it's exhilarating. With acceleration, with a combination, and you became my aspiration. When I love with your photos, you were my loco. Nights and days when you got me loco, I admit my roles and I stand corrected. Hi, thank y'all for coming in. I'll see y'all tomorrow for the next topic. I thank everybody that come and watch me every day. I appreciate y'all. I appreciate my followers. I just want to grow with y'all. I want to get to know y'all. I want to get each inside each other's brain. It's the only way to grow. Bounce ideas off each other. I went to this like house flipping convention. They said it's three types of people. People who think inside the box. People who think outside the box. And then there's people that knows there was never a box to begin with. I'm trying to be that person that know there ain't no box. There are no limits. Let's grow. I love y'all. Peace. See y'all tomorrow.